Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're not new, and welcome to something new. I'll have to rethink that for the next one. Anyway, today we are doing reactions. We're starting reactions to The Gentleman. Of course, you know that because you've seen the title of the video. The Gentleman. The Gentleman with um, Matthew McConaughey, I think, was one of my favorite movies, favorite films in the last few years. It really was. It was it's, it's so good. And if you haven't seen The Gentleman, I suggest you go and watch it because, you know, you're starting with it. It is well written. It is well acted. It is funny. It is adventure. It is twists and turns. And, yeah, it is, it's, it is Guy Ritchie. You know, you, you know you're going to get, um, you, you know what you're going to get with Guy Ritchie in that you don't know what you're going to get. You know it's got to be well-written, witty dialogue, great characters, twists and turns. You know what it's got to be. So when I saw they were doing a television spin-off, of course, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. And I've been waiting for this for a while, and it's finally here. So this is The Gentleman. Um, as far as it goes, apart from knowing it is a spin-off or it's connected to the movie The Gentleman, I'm not really sure what this is about. Is it a prequel? Where um, is it a prequel where we sort of see Mickey Pearson's rise? Is it a, a sequel? You know, is it is it running parallel? I don't know. I'd imagine, I'd imagine it's either a sequel or a prequel, right? I'd imagine it's a sequel because of the the clips I've seen, very few, it looks m more modern, right? So I'd imagine it's got to be a sequel. And I wonder if it's got any sort of crossover apart from the story. I wonder if there's got to be any character sort of shared characters. I don't want to see Matthew McConaughey, right? I don't want to see Matthew McConaughey, but, but I wonder, yeah, I wonder how, how, I hope it is true to the story and it's not just using the title and using the premise to create a different story, right? You know what I mean? Sometimes people do that. Sometimes they use a popular name just to sort of push something that's got really nothing much to do with it. So I hope this is true to the original. Um, and yeah, I, I, what can you say? Absolutely nothing because I've got no idea what's, what's, what it's got to be about. Well, we do know what it's got to be about, right? It's got to be, I'd imagine gangsters in, if it's anything like the original Marwan, right? Gangsters in Marwan. Which is a brilliant combination. Brilliant combination. Gangsters and marijuana. Like fish and chips. Um, so that's that. This is this is um the gentleman starring Theo James. And yeah, let's let's go. I need to finish the cordon by fourteen hundred, but um otherwise great work. Okay, boss. Mm -hmm. No, 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 listen, listen to me. Tell them I don't care whose goats they are. Just get them off the road. Relax, Hold on, hold on. You don't want to cause an international incident here. Right, uh, gentleman with the moustache, head in that direction, please. Gentleman with the eye patch, head in the opposite direction. If you can't sort this out amicably, we'll let the goats decide. <laughs> we'll let the goats decide. Fucking how bullshit fucking reasoning is that. I assume this isn't good news. It mm. was a nasty fall. I mean, you could have just caught me. Well, you did so many times. Ultimately, your brother decided, as the eldest son, that it was necessary to dispatch me so that I could impress upon you the severity of the situation. So something's happened at home. Is my father going to die? I mean, oh, his father's, his father's a fall. His grace's condition is His grace. Serious. His grace. The fucking My royalty. instruction is to take you to the airport straight away. The man just called his father your grace. His grace. Fizzy, the fucking pope or royalty. Now, my friend. Eddie. Edwina, Eduardo, you made it. Come to me. Edwina, oh, no, no. Eduardo. Well done. Let's hug it out. Bring it in, hug it out. There we go. Good to see you. Doc says it'll be tonight, tomorrow morning latest. Mm. What about you? How you doing? To be honest, I've got absolutely no idea, mate. I mean, I'm really just, um, you know. Yeah, it's limbo, isn't it? A little bit. I mean, 
you do in the hot field, right? You can't agree from yet because he's not dead yet. But you know, you're just kind of waiting. And it's a weird, weird fucking feeling. I mean, there's something we said about a man from that much privilege um, Eddie. trying to make a world a better place, right? Joining the United Nations Peace Force in sort of try to help the world rather than just consume. This estate has been in the family for over 600 years and Freddie's gonna a lot by Christmas. Mm. The entire estate gets handed down to the firstborn son. Freddie's the heir and I'm a spare. Eddie and Freddie. So Freddie's the oldest son, but he doesn't seem very capable. He seems like a bit of an idiot, does him, does him Freddy. Right. Is everyone ready? Everything's going to get left to Eddie, Let's innit? Get it over with. Let's Father's going to leave with. it to Eddie. Or something. This isn't going to be simple or straightforward. Then I'll begin. I, Archibald Horatio Landrover Hornman, <sighs> Landrover. the Duke of Holstead, Landrover. being of sound mind, do Landrover. publish and declare this to be my last will and testament. The house and grounds the extensive wine cellar, the art collection, the yoghurt farm and dairy, the village of Hetheringham, as well as the property in the south of France. A village? I hereby leave... A village! ...to my son. All right. Um, Eddie. Edward. Ho, 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 ho! I think... Um, oh. I was kind of thinking of everybody... If, if, um... Sorry, again for me, old chap. I leave to my son. Edward. Edward Hornman. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry this has happened to you. I think there must be some sort of... It's... He's Edward. I'm Freddy. And it's, mm -hmm. sometimes they call me Fredward, and so it gets a little bit mixed up. I think there's some sort of mistake, unfortunately. No, mate. I don't think so. No, mate. You've been cut out, motherfucker. I'm the eldest fucking son. It was all supposed to go to me. What, 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 what the fuck is this? No, 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 no. Freddy. No, 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 don't, don't touch me. Don't Freddy, touch Freddy, me. Freddy, relax. Don't you start Stop. either. There's got to be some sort of mistake. Freddy, mate. Your dad knows your fuck up, mate. The title goes to me. Now, that's not just me saying it because it's what I want. It's, it's the fucking law. It goes back to the Bible. Old Testament, Cain and Abel. It's the will of God. The firstborn son gets... Everything. It's fucking. It's 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 primogenital is what it is. It's grasping at straws is what it is, mate. Grasping at fucking straws. Of course, but the will is clear. <gasps> the I feel for goes to Edward, and the title contains a special remainder that allows it to pass to the second. So oh, I'm so sorry. I don't give a good god shit what the terms of the will clearly state. Here, look. The right of succession to the firstborn legitimate male child. Do you actually print that out, Fred? Okay, I don't want to hear from you either. You actually Macbeth. printed Absolutely it out. Absolutely not, no. To inherit the parents' entire estate, the house, the title, fucking everything, it all goes to me. Fred, this is why you do have a mate. This is why you never give it to you. Great, it's no, coming back, perfect. Absolutely Dude. not. No, 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 no. I am not fucking having it. Take it up with God. Take it up with the Prime Minister. Take it up with the House of fucking Commons or take it up the arse for all I care. I want what is rightfully mine by divine motherfucking provenance, yeah? <laughs> been stabbed in the heart. You've got a feel for him. You really do. Like, you know, Monthly has all become a fucking gazillionaire. How do you think it makes me feel? How do you think it helps me pay my fucking debts? Debts, Freddie? Debts. Mm -hmm. What kind of debts? Debts. Fucking debts. Well, that's <laughs> anonymous. Yeah. You think? Me. <sighs> Story, Freddy. Do you remember Pete Forbes Spencer? He's in my house at Eaton. Big hair, tiny cock, sweaty hands. They called him Sticky Pete. <laughs> I remember Pete, but I don't remember his cock. Started making a fortune in property. In the tits, 
went up. Mm. The hurricane hit, the plane crashed, the lightning struck, the torpedo went chitty, chitty, bang, bang. What do you want me to say, Eddie? It wasn't my fault. God fucked me. Where did you get four million pounds from? Yeah. So, Eddie, where did you get four million from? The chap I'm in rehab. Liverpudlian chop dealer. Said he wanted to front me the money. Said he wanted into the Maldives. So, for clarity, you owe a Scouse cocaine dealer four million pounds. Yeah, no. 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 I owe a Scouse crime family. We're coming for you, Freddy. Eight million pounds. Hold on, Freddy. Four to eight. Throw me an anchor. I don't know, Eddie. Criminal compound interest, whatever, okay? They're gangsters. They fucking make it up as they go along. All right, mate. 25% every week until the debt's paid. 25% a week? Fucking hell. When you were three years old, I pulled you out of the duck pond, remember? No, I don't remember that, but I do remember you telling me about it incessantly. The title has no practical value. The business is broken. There are holes in the roof. The government is greedy. The payroll is ugly. The staff are revolting. And you are a prick. Coke sniffing cunt. Yeah. Yeah, it's like he's not inherited. That's a great thing, is he? He's inherited a big house in, you know, an institution. But it's never as easy as it looks. Jesus Christ. Two million. Six million, Sterling. Your inheritance has made you a very wealthy man, but that doesn't mean to say that you're rich. You're asset yeah. rich, cash poor. Yeah. Tell me, how come there are no significant transactions in any of my father's bank accounts in the last five years? Your father's personal expenditure was something we never discussed. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Where was his daddy getting money from? Slightly unconventional approach from a lawyer based in London. His client has expressed an interest in purchasing Halstead Manor. But his lawyer has stated that he'd be willing to pay well above the market value. Well, you're still on, the, still on your fucking family seat, are you? Sorry to disturb you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susie Glass. How can I help you, Miss Glass? I used to be in business with your father. Well, forgive my confusion, but my father wasn't exactly known for his business acumen. I have certain interests that I need to discuss with you. Mm. What kind of interest? What do want to? It'd be easier if I just show you. What do want to interest? That's where his dad was making the money from, right? He was letting them run a weed farm from his house. Follow me. Mm. Nope. It was from vegetation. going on. Mm. Cannabis market in the UK is worth over six billion a year. Now we've managed to corner a substantial share of that market, but the challenge is finding the space to grow it. That's why your father came in. Assuming my father was receiving about 10% a year, which would seem fair. This place must be turning over 50 million a year. You're in the right ballpark. I might have to put the house on the market. We prefer to keep things as they are. Well, I'm sorry if that puts you in an awkward position, Miss Class, but it's my house and my hand might be forced. What if I wanted to renegotiate? If you were serious about wanting to sell the property, that would be challenging for us. Well, legally, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> Illegally, there is, though. No, they're plenty illegal. Normally, in these kind of situations, certain discussions are made beforehand. And normally, the weak willed, work shy, public school educated heir takes the money and Rolls over like a good little boy. Yes. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Well, it's true, yeah. That's, that's exactly what happens. Why did you just ask them <clears throat> for a sort of a loan? A bridging loan sort of thing. Hi there, you Grace. I need to raise eight million pounds very quickly. Ooh, eight million, that's a big number. My brother's in debt to a Liverpudlian drug cartel. Six million. What's that guy's name was? Tommy Dixon. How much of the eight's interest? Half. That's strong. The interest yeah. rate wasn't made clear to my brother on the inception of the loan. If you can take care of four, I'll see what I can do with the other four. 
I'll get back to you. Done. It seems fair, doesn't it? It really does. What do you reckon, bruv? I know Tommy Dixon. And his brother, the Gospel. A pair of drug dealing scousers that got God on their side. Naughty? Naughty, but not double naughty. So she's got to try to put a bit of pressure on the drug dealers. Handsome looking turbot. Two and a half kilos. Not bad for a wild fish. Oh, they speak to us. You looking or buying? Neither. I'm here for you. Mm. My name's Susie Glass. Mm. Eight million is a lot of money. Eight million is a lot of money. Fuck all is fuck all. Mm. A hundred percent of fuck all is we fuck all. We're not going to get the full eight, so Brilliant. let's be realistic. What happens if I can get you the original four in cash by the end of the week? All right. On one condition. He's got to apologise. And he's got to admit that he's a cock. Understood. And I want it recorded for posterity. You'd probably like to know why I am so interested. Oh, it's in fucking Gustavo Fring. Your family estate. Gustavo Fring. I would. Why well, you're interested? Because the meth it's game has sort of gone south, mate. The meth game is sort of. You know. It's a paragon of an example of the architectural philosophy of William Kent, who was a jack of all trades. People either survive in the jungle or exist in the zoo. Your house is a testament to the synthesis of this culture. Refinement. So the boy wants it as a status symbol of how, how refined he is. I hope you don't disapprove in the way I prefer my wine presented, in breaking with tradition. I like to decant and clean the liquid, clear the bottle of any sediment, then return the wine so it can be enjoyed in its original housing. Pretentious shit, by the way. Pretentious bollocks. Just drink the fucking wine, you dickhead. It's a drink. How's the wine taste? Exactly the fucking same. Exactly the same. The Romani Conti, 2002. Are you a fan of DRC? Mm. I'm more of a Bordeaux man myself. By the way, DRC is very, very, very expensive wine. Like, top of the line expensive wine. Two belong to the Crown Estate. One belongs to the Archduke of Moldova, and the rest, well, they're in our cellar. Along with two cases of the 45. Ah, the temptation is too much. If you won't allow me to buy the house, please allow me to buy the wine. I promise I will be very generous. Mm. What about the wine collection? That could reach three, but again, that will take time. It'd be very hard for me to let that go. That's how you negotiate. That is how you fucking negotiate. I don't know, mate. No, it's really hard. It's like family stuff and nostalgia and stuff. Everything all right? Freddy. No, not really. Freddy. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Edwina, just hear me out, okay? This guy's a two-time world heavyweight champion. How much did you put on Freddy? Yeah, I'm like, all of it. It's a dead start, bro. It's winner takes all. I met his trainer and everything. What's the name of the bookie you made the bet with? Tell me now. There's no bookies in this kind of fight. It's, 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 it's very exclusive and off the record. It's VVVIP. Hold on, how did you place a bet if there's no bookie, Freddy? To a friend of a friend. What do you mean a friend of a friend? Who? <clears throat> Pete, all right? He's got a mate who put five mil on the guy who's cutting me in for a slice. Jesus fucking Christ, Sticky Pete. We're gonna need to find this fight. I know, man. Freddy. Freddy, like, like there's a real, real reason Freddy didn't hurt at all. Because Freddy's a fucking idiot. What the fuck did you get him? Money. What money? Freddy's money, which is my money. No, there's nothing I can do about that now, mate. Fight started. Eddie, I got this under control, okay? Freddy, I'll deal with you later. Without knowing it, you have stepped into a world that you are not familiar with. Mm. That money is expected by someone who will not suffer disappointment. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds like a threat. Yeah, it is, mate, it is. Take it easy. Susie Glass wants to see you. I'm not done with you. Fred is like Fredo, eh? It's Fredo, literally. As well as I would have liked. Well, sit down, have a drink, watch the fight. We'll figure something out. She is very calm, is she? Susie. Susie's like, um, nothing's a big deal. Everything's doable. Every, there's no real problems. 
Everything just needs a solution. Very calm. It's a scam. Uh -oh. What do you mean yeah. it's a scam? Bong Bong's going down. He never places the best me. He prays on the posh. Only rinses the privilege. No! Why is he lying on the ground? Someone get him off off the ground! Freddy, you absolute fucking mug. Hi, right time. So what is this? The boy to get the money back. I think he wants to say sorry. No. You want to say sorry? Do That's nice one. I don't know. Do I? Yes. You do. We need closure. Yeah, we need closure. Blankets. <clears throat> Let me apologise. One sticky peak. Uh, oh, I just wanted to say sorry. Oh, sticky Pete. The oh, sticky heart. piece of accident. Uh, no, that's nice. That's oh, nice. Thank, Thank you, Pete. Don't give me back the money that I said I'm sorry. Say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no harm done, right? All's well that ends well. You said you were going to talk to him. Oh, we did. Uh, Don't worry about him. We did him a favour. We disciplined the dog, discipline, not the yeah. man. And what's that supposed to mean? There's a dog in a man that the man can't control. So we had to control it for him. And we are in the dog training business. I mean, that's one way of putting it, right? The dog training business. Hey, soft lad. Don't forget the suit. <laughs> That for me, is it? As promised. Mm -hmm. Would you like to count it? No, nah, I'll let Jethro do that. Hey, Jesse, you're up, mate. Jethro. Hey, soft lad. Is it all right if he sets up on that desk there? Yeah, of course. Take a seat. Now, he's got OCDR, Jethro. I'm happy to put on the suit. I'm happy to do the dance, obviously, just to show you how genuinely apologetic I am about this whole thing. But you've got your money. You'll have had your Half his money. I'll have eaten humble pie. The whole Half his money. Whole pie. You don't have to film it, do you? That's why I agreed to take the four instead of the eight. You're thinking about this all wrong. Your participation in this movie is going to earn you four million quid. That's a million quid a minute. You'll be about the best paid actor in yeah. the world. You'll be celebrating, not negotiating. Yeah. Four million for four minutes? Four million for one song? When <laughs> <laughs> the wolf in the hen house. <laughs> You're a chicken, aren't you, Freddy? You had to get bailed out of a debt you couldn't repay. But you can repent. My brother's a big fan of repentance. And a proportion of this debt is his. He sees this dance as a parable. Therefore, you don't just pretend to be a chicken. You've got to actually be a chicken. Come on, it's going to piss a little bit. Hey. Terrible. What the fuck? Awful. Do the sound. No, that's shit. Think WWF, Red Rooster, 1989. Move your neck. Be a chicken. I'm a fucking chicken. I want you to be a chicken. Look, there's all grain there. Look, come and pick the grain. Come here. There's a win. I want you to eat the win, you fucking chicken. Come here. There's a fucking win here. I need him to become a chicken, you fucking heart. Come on, be a fucking chicken. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Jimmy's taking a piss, isn't he? Jimmy is absolutely taking the fucking piss. Who's the chicken now? Freddy! Fuck off! So I was, um, I was the gentleman. I was, I was, I was wonderful. It really was good. I was, 
like a Guy Ritchie movie in TV form, right? There really was, everything was there. The Carter was there, the great camera work was there, the dialogue, the story, all of the Guy Ritchie aspects were there. And Ken Fells, see what Guy Ritchie really, really does well. The musical design of his films. The music in the way it's used in Guy Ritchie's films is fucking exquisite. And not as a sim, right? So I guess um, Eddie, Eddie, who is serving as a UN soldier, comes home because his father's in an accident. Um, his father dies, and they're expecting the state hostage, the state, to pass to his older brother. But his older brother is a fucking idiot, so it passes to Eddie. Eddie um, is going through the books. He discovers his father is not actually spending any of his own money. And he's wondering where his father gets money from, but we know where he's getting from because it's one of these estates that it was used in the gentleman. The gentleman. It is one of those estates it was going to use their underground marijuana growing business, right? Under the direction of Susie Glass. I don't know for how the other guy, the Matthew McConaughey character, but Susie Glass, who's running it now. And then, um, yeah, so Eddie's got to sell the place, but turns out he can't really sell the place because of what's in the place. So his brother has got debt to a lower playing gangster who is taking advantage of him because he's a moron. Um, in, so the, the debt's like 4 million, the interest 4 million. In, you know, so the so I talk it down, right, to the original 4 million, plus he's got to humiliate himself on video for the said. Lower Napoleon gangster, by dressing with a chicken suit in, in, in doing all dance, right? But the Lower Napoleon dancer pushes the coke frenzied Freddy so far screaming in his face that Freddy shoots him because it would be too easy just to do the fucking thing and pay your debts off right it would be too easy just to do that that's a little problem crime family by the way crime family and they know where the guy is they know what he's doing <laughs> so it's gonna be great right this is but all of the elements in it are so good yeah like the Carter's or, like, you know, you, you know that Eddie, who has sort of given up a life of privilege to join the UN, join the army, and sort of try to make the world a better place, right? Whereas Freddie sort of stayed back and just a waste of space posh boy, right? And so, and that's about, it, that's about the story. I was just about introducing different characters in, in their nature on their character and yeah and then you get um susie who you know susie's one of these people that the world got shit and she's very calm none's a problem just everything is calm and collected and you know we'll deal with whatever comes along right so i wonder if eddie and susie are gonna get together because they seem like they're a good couple apart from the fact that she's a gangster and he's a well gangster enabler so who would be so that's, that's episode one. I was absolutely brilliant. Um, join me for episode two, and we'll keep going with podcasts. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be something special. And um, thank you for watching and subscribing. All of that good stuff. All of these will be on Patreon first. So thank you to the guys who subscri subscribed to the Patreon. I appreciate you so much for the support. And um, I'll catch you for the next one.